this idea that that computers shouldn't just be for hobbyists, um, that it should be something for the mainstream, that it is it, it's got, it would end up being uh, every man's tool and the most sort of powerful tool that we have out there. And so I think he, what he was so passionate about from the beginning was this idea of computers being intuitive things for us to use as opposed to things that would scare us. In Scientific American, I think he read this story. And that obviously stayed with him, this idea that human beings are tool builders. And they might fall short uh, in what, what has you know, been given to us naturally, but their ability to build tools allows them to supersede uh, what, what they could be capable of. He knew that he had met somebody special when he met Wozniak, and he knew that Wozniak, I think, was going to be a vehicle for him to sort of, you know, get into this business. Because I think Steve Jobs was a great salesman, I think he was a great negotiator, and he was a great observer of talent. I just thought the script was, a, you know, genius. I just thought, you know, that's, you know, the best modern day script I've, I've read, for sure. Yeah, I think Danny is, uh, is without doubt the most positive and energetic director that I've ever worked with. Um, he's just constantly upbeat on set and constantly positive and encouraging and, as I say, full of energy. And I think he injects that same positivity and energy in his sort of visual storytelling, in the sort of energy he puts into the camera. It was also the fact that, you know, Jobs needed somebody to talk to the board. He needed somebody to handle the board. As far as the board were concerned, the, he, this, this was, you know, they realized that he was kind of maverick genius um, in the tech world, you know, and then some tech people would say, well, Jobs didn't really know that much about tech. So, uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting uh, contradiction. But uh, they found him difficult to deal with, and they didn't see him as, a, you know, really a CEO material. This story is important because he's changed all of our lives. He's changed the way the world works the way we communicate to one another, the way we interact with one another, how, like I say, we watch films now, how we listen to music, um, how we buy things. So somebody that has that sort of influence deserves to be reflected on. I think he's just great for any film set. <laughs> Uh, Seth is an extraordinary person and professional. Um, he's just so generous and um, relaxed and easygoing, but is one of the hardest working people in show business. He manages to, <laughs> to do all of those things, and it seems like he's just chilling. But as we know, he's writing, he's producing, he's directing, he's acting. Uh, he's an incredible person and, and just very, very easy to work with. And I think, you know, outside of the fact that he's such an accomplished sort of producer, director, writer, as a performer, he brings such humanity to characters. He's just smart. He's been doing it for a while, Jeff, and he knows storytelling. You know, he runs a theater company in Michigan, and he knows the components of storytelling. So it's the little things that he does. Like in the first act, when Jobs is sipping the wine, he's observing him drink the wine. It's like really interesting um, nuances, again, that he'll choose, or character observations, which are just little moments that uh, really set things in motion. You know, Kate is, uh, you know, I have to say I, I owe her a lot um, 
for for this for my own performance and and just sort of um how much generosity she brought to the set and how much support she brought to me she's a real team player and she's a real leader that's the first thing that she's a natural born leader kate and she made sure that everybody was was in the right frame of mind and uh, you know if um you know how is danny doing and and how's Seth doing? How am I doing? Just making sure that there's harmony <laughs> in the right places. And then, you know, that's just, she hasn't even started acting yet. I remember when I arrived at the, at the read-through before we started rehearsals, she just had Joanna Hoffman's accent off. I mean, I'd been watching clips of Joanna Hoffman and I was just like, oh my God.